In this video, I'll go through the whole Luminor UV installation process step by step and include the pro tips and tricks that I use so you can easily install one of these like a pro. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. This video is perfect for the do-it-yourself home, cottage, or cabin owner. By the end of this video, you'll fully understand how and where to install one of these Luminar UVs the best way to make sure it performs perfectly and is easy to service in the future. And hang around to the end because I've got an important pro tip warning to share with you about what you should definitely not do. And by the way, the installation procedure is exactly the same whether you have a Luminar LB4, LB5, LB6, or the higher flow rate versions like this LBH5. Luminar makes UV systems for Culligan, Water Water Depot, Nelson, and many others. So if you have one of those, and it looks like one of these, the procedure is identical. Now, if you're not 100% sure about how one of these UV systems work, I have a great YouTube video here that explains the whole process. I'll put a link in the description down below. So keep in mind that pretreatment must be completed and is critical to the operation of these systems. What do I mean by that? You have to make sure that your iron content is less than 0.3 parts per million. You have to make sure your water is a hardness of seven grains per gallon or less. You have to have a turbidity of less than one. You have to have manganese of 0.05 parts per million or less. And when it comes to tannin, 0.1 parts per million or less. And you need an ultraviolet transmittance of 85% or higher. And you'll need to make sure that a five micron sediment filter is installed as part of the pretreatment. And it's super important where you install the ultraviolet disinfectant equipment relative to the rest of your water filtration equipment. Basically you clean up the water and the UV system gets installed at the end just before it goes to your reverse osmosis drinking water system. So you need to determine an appropriate indoor location for the controller and chamber. Keep in mind that the chamber can be installed either vertically as it is here or horizontally. Which leads us to pro tip number one. Vertical installation is the preferred method with the inlet at the bottom and the lamp connection at the top, as it allows any air that may be in the lines to be easily purged through the system. And you would use the supplied fasteners to mount the UV reactor chamber. Pro tip number two, ideally you'd like to mount the whole thing to plywood. If your flow rate is unknown or greater than the capacity of your UV, be sure you install a flow restrictor on the inlet port of the stainless steel reactor. So once you've decided on the location of the system, then you're going to want to make sure the plumbing connections are compatible with whatever size plumbing you have. So most pre-filled and the UV reaction chamber is three quarter inch in and three quarter inch out. So just make sure you've got the appropriate fittings for your installation. And pro tip number three, if you're using PEX plumbing, you need to run at least 12 inches of copper before switching to PEX at the outlet. Pro tip number four, always use Teflon tape and pipe dope at each connection that's threaded. So when selecting your pre-filter, I always encourage you to select the five micron sediment pre-filter. That's a big blue, which is four and a half inch diameter and at least 10 inches long like this one is, or 20 inches is better for more capacity. And you wanna make sure that you've got a ball valve before the pre-filter and after the UV so you can isolate the system for doing maintenance in the future. And pro tip number five, the use of cotton or latex gloves is definitely recommended whenever you're handling anything to do with the quartz sleeve or the ultraviolet uh, disinfection lamp itself. It protects the oils from your hands from being deposited on those quartz sleeves and compromising its uh, performance, which could ultimately block the UV light from getting to the water. Pro tip number six, be careful that you're installing the black home version of the these ultraviolet disinfection systems. Stay away from the proprietary systems that come from companies like Culligan, Water Depot, and Nelson, because you can only get the replacement UV lamp from them. So they can charge whatever they want. And if you're looking for more information about these Black Home Luminar ultraviolet disinfection systems, you can go to our websites, either watereastore.com in the US or watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount prices. Which brings us to pro tip number seven, locate the controller or the ballast above all plumbing making sure that it's not under some other the household plumbing because what happens is that plumbing could drip condensation onto the controller and short it out and kill that controller next carefully slide the sleeve into the stainless steel chamber making sure that you 
keep it nice and straight. Align the sleeve so it's centered along the length of the reactor, then gently push it in to lock it into place in the internal centering springs in the far side of the, the reactor. Caution, <laughs> don't push too hard when the sleeve is not aligned because you can damage the centering springs and then it's gonna be brutal to try to align. And pro tip number eight, I recommend using Plumber's Clear Silicone Grease on the O-ring. After greasing the O-ring, slide the O-ring onto the sleeve until it's butted up against the reactor. Once the O-ring's been fitted over the quartz sleeve, then you're gonna grab the gland nut and tighten that gland nut. Just gonna hold everything in place. And again, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Now you can only tighten it so far and then it has a hard stop. Don't use any wrenches or any other kinds of equipment to tighten it even further because that's it. And it's important to remember that uh, stainless steel spring we put it inside the cord sleeve because the tension on that spring on the lamp is what works well with the LumiLock uh, connector to create the proper lamp alignment. And if by chance for some reason you don't have gloves or a clean cloth available, always handle the UV lamps by the ceramic ends, not by the, the lamp quartz part. Once you carefully remove the lamp from its packaging, insert the UV lamp into the reactor and you'll find that it only goes in so far and then you'll see the tension of the spring. And make sure you correctly line up the pins and the grooves in the UV lamp and in the connector. Push it all the way down and then you'll give it a slight turn and it'll lock in place. Make sure that it is locked in place. Then using your Phillips screwdriver, you're gonna tighten the ground nut. And you'll notice at the end of the UV lamp, you'll find the key, this key here. And this key is very important. And if you look at the key closely, you'll see not only the part number of the UV lamp on there, but you'll also see the serial number. So before you plug the system in, it brings us to pro tip number nine, and that is plug the system into a surge suppressor. A surge suppressor is something you would use for a computer or an expensive television. And what it does, it protects the electronics. So by plugging the, the controller into a surge suppressor, in fact, plugging all your water filtration equipment into a surge suppressor, Super cheap insurance. Once the system is plugged in and powered up, then what you can do is close the inlet and the outlet valve, open up the water supply to run water to the whole system. Then you can open up the inlet valve halfway to fill the whole system with water and check for leaks. If you have any leaks, now's the time to fix them. Next step would be open up the inlet valve fully and Push this button up here to vent any air that's in the system. Pro tip number 10, it's imperative that the entire distribution system located after the UV is chemically cleaned and disinfected to ensure that the plumbing system is free from any contaminants. Keep in mind that as water flows through the system here, it's gonna kill the bacteria, but any water that's already in the system downstream of this that may be contaminated by bacteria would reinfect that water that has been disinfected. I've got a great YouTube video that shows the exact procedure for doing that disinfection, and I'll put a link in the description down below. Then you open the outlet valve to run water to your whole home cottage or cabin. Now you need to know how to maintain this UV system to make sure your water stays safe and bacteria free for your family. Click here for your next video on Luminor UV maintenance and I'll see you there.